Hi, it's Kathy here. Are you someone who typically puts everyone else's needs ahead of your own? Or perhaps you find it really difficult to even know what you need because you're so unused to asking the question, what do I need? If that is something that you're not great at, then today's three card pull could be for you. And it's where I've asked that question, what do I need most right now? As with all tarot cards, there are multiple meanings. So tune in and let the messages sink beyond that mental level and much deeper into your body and being to see what feels most true and use your gut response or your inner knowing to guide you. And if something in any of these messages is for you today, then do follow its guidance and put yourself first. There is nothing selfish about putting yourself first. In fact, it's really necessary. <laughs> Okay, so tune into the cards. This is card one, two, and three. So if you've chosen card one, this is the two of swords. So the key words around the two of swords are like it's a stalemate or there's an impasse. Energy is not moving. You're unable to see the way ahead. Something um, about being stopped in your tracks, where nothing can happen uh, and also not trusting your intuition or ignoring what your intuition is telling you. So as you can see, it shows this uh, a woman with a blindfold across her eyes, her arms across, across her heart, and she's holding these two enormous um, swords and she's sitting on this cold stone bench. <clears throat> so thought um, swords are they represent thoughts ideas the mental realm the intellect and the crescent moon in the background in the sky that represents intuition so it's a possible meaning it could be saying that right now is not the time to make a decision uh, at least not one that's based in logic or just reason alone mental clarity isn't available so stop trying to push ahead until you do have some clarity it could also mean that you might need to look at where you're avoiding following your intuition because your intuition knows what's right for you. But if you've got any blocks or fears to uh, following what your innermost being knows that you need to do, then you could be uh, feeling this impasse energy because of that. So check inside to see if you've been holding yourself back in some way. See if you've been avoiding making a decision or taking some action and notice where you've been putting things off um, because you've been listening to those inner voices. The story that comes into your mind that says you can't move forward or you need to wait or, you know, whatever that story is. And look more deeply beneath, beneath those reasons and just see if you can feel any fear or resistance. Ask what your intuition wants you to do. You're never not connected to your intuition, even if you aren't always able to hear it. And to define it or to help you define it from all the other voices in your head, the, the ideas, the conflicting thoughts, all of that that could be whirling around your head, the noise. Your intuition is often the voice that is just like really quiet, less obvious but it's there consistently it's persistent and it sticks to the same story it's not like thoughts in your mind that can be um constantly changing and being it, it you know polar opposites it tends to be the one voice that just stays the same and it's there underneath everything that's uh churning around the top like the the busy uh, waves on the top of a, of a, the sea this is more from an inner deeper place so you may sense its energy much more in the body than in the head so feel into your inner knowing and trust that over your logic right now it could also be just letting you know that right now information that will help you make a decision and take action simply isn't available so this might be an invitation then to pause, to wait until, until something uh, feels more aligned or is more obvious so that you know and you get that gut feeling, yes, okay, now it's now I know what to do, now I can take action because your clarity will be there. So that is the two of swords, question, uh, card number one. Card number two is the ten of wands. So the... 
meaning of this card or the key words around this card are like accomplishment, burden, responsibility, being burnt out, and maybe an inability to delegate. So you can see from the card that this man is carrying a bundle of heavy sticks or staves. The, there's 10 of them to represent the 10 ones. And he's kind of bent over. He's really tired, but he's nearly at the end of his journey. You can see a little house or a village there in the near distance. Um, so he knows he's just got this little bit to go before he can put down his load and this could be like the fruits of his labor that you know he's been carrying for so long and he knows that he's nearly there and he can he can finally rest and relax and in, enjoy the success of his of, of all the energy he's put into this but in terms of what do I need most right now it could mean that at this time is approaching where you just actually need to rest because you've been carrying too much. You've been working really, really hard and, you know, you're coming to the end of, it's like the end of something. Tens in tarot are a, a card of completion. So just to be able to know that, to maybe hold on or just keep going for that last little bit because you're nearly there. So that could be one part of the guidance, or it could simply be a message that you've overburdened yourself with more than, than you can reasonably handle. You might have overworked, you, you might be overtired, or could be overstimulated and overwhelmed. It's all of these over energies. So, you know, it, this can lead to uh, at, at least being uh, lacking creative energy when you just don't have like the, the energy to do more you've lost your driving force, uh, but it could also be a slippery slope to burnout and where every other little extra task just adds to that overwhelm and stress. And that can really build up a resentment for what you have to do. And it can lead to illness as well. So the 10 of ones, it can mean the collapse of plans and projects so it could be suggesting that you really need to stop working so hard and to rest and to just relieve yourself of some of these pressures that you and the burdens that you're carrying to conserve your energy uh, until you've got to that finish line. You know, slow it down. If you keep pushing through the exhaustion or you, you could trigger anxiety, it gets really difficult to be able to make clear decisions or to have good judgment from that place. And so another key message is that your well-being is really important. And when you put it at the center of your life, you'll have much greater access to your inner resources. So don't go for external success at the expense of your health, or you might end up paying a really high price for it. Let some things go. Prioritize. Do a life audit, maybe, and and just check where you're over giving or over controlling in your work or your relationships. Um, wh where you might be bending over backwards or taking on leadership responsibilities that you don't need to. Where could you ask for more help? Where could you simplify? Where could you downsize or pare back? Because if you can sort of own that you're re you've reached that limit that edge that's the first place is to actually acknowledge it and then you can start to make changes so just be really careful right now and um see where you can let some things go so that's the second card the card number three is justice so the, the key words around justice are truth fairness justice, equality, balance, the law, and accountability. So the justice card in tarot shows Lady Justice sitting in a chair. She's holding her sword in one hand and her scales in the other. In quite a lot of tarot sets, you see her blindfolded. And the blindfold, although she isn't in this particular deck, the blindfold or the meaning of the blindfold it, it represents impartiality so it's like an assurance that anyone who approaches the the court to seek justice won't be judged uh, for their appearance or their power or status or 
fame or wealth or anything, but they're solely on the strength of their claims and the evidence that's put in front of Lady Justice. Um, and this, so the sword represents like the straightforwardness and getting to the point and it's that symbol of authority and respect and it cuts through any lies whereas the scales are about carefully weighing the evidence so the meanings for justice in regard to the question what do i need most what do i need most right now um it could be that you need to make a really clear calm and swift decision regards in the direction of your life and and just make sure that you have all the facts and information in, in order to do that don't just rely on uh, kind of inner feelings and and gut feelings alone but collect the information the evidence the data that you need so that you can make a, a really full and grounded decision another message is to not pass judgment on someone else without first getting hold of all the cold hard evidence uh, don't judge based on gossip from others and find and know the truth before you speak it so that you can be fair in all the things that you're you're doing remember that whatever you're experiencing in life right now it comes as a result of cause and effect and you know whatever we put out into the world we receive karmic balance of so be mindful of the energy that you're transmitting out into the world. And if you don't like what you're experiencing, then change your energy, but take responsibility, be accountable for your experiences because you are at the center of everything that you create in your life. She might also represent another person um, that you could call on, like some impartial friend or relative or an advisor to help you sort through some of your options so that you can come to the best possible decision about something if that is speaking to you then just make sure that they are someone who's real really honest opinion that you can trust if you're experiencing chaos disorder indecision uh imbalance or a delay of any kind do what's necessary to bring things back into balance. So whether that's physically, emotionally, socially, or spiritually, or in some way, do what you can to restore a sense of equilibrium with, within yourself. Ju the justice card could also be saying that there's a need for fair judgment in some way. So if you've been wronged, then take this opportunity to make a stand for yourself. If people cross your boundaries, then speak your truth and let them know. If you've wronged someone else, then don't hide or make excuses or put off doing what you need to do to make amends. Be accountable, do what's right. So lastly, this card could be saying to choose to see things as they really are, not how you want them to be or how you hope them to be or from any sense of a, a fantasy. Choose to see things as they really are, choose to see the world as it really is. Um, as if the scales have been removed from your eyes, be honest with yourself. And if things are not working, then seek to change them. And what whatever you're doing, feel into where you need to find balance. So that's it from me for today. I hope one of those, or maybe more than one of those uh, cards resonated with you. Do let me know in the comments if something like touched you, and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Yeah.